Boyle's law, under constant temperature and number of particles, pressure, and volume of gases are inversely proportional to each other. This means that when pressure increase, volume decrease, and when pressure decrease, volume increase. This happens because outside pressure forces a flexible container to shrink or expand. To solve the problem, first, list the given values. V1 is equal to 7.2 liters. V2 is equal to 25.1 liters. P2 is equal to 2 atmosphere. And P1 is a known. <clears throat> In Boyle's law, since pressure and volume are inversely proportional to each other, the formula will be P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2. Divide both sides by V1 to isolate P1, then assign values for the variables. P1 is equal to 2 atmosphere times 25.1 liters divided by 7.2 liters. The answer will be P1 is equal to 6.97 atmosphere. This law is evident in baking. Yeast is often used in baking to make the bakery products fluffy. Yeast is responsible for releasing carbon dioxide bubbles. These carbon dioxide bubbles expand further with high temperature. The expansion of carbon dioxide bubbles with an increase in temperature works as a leavening agent and causes the bakery products to become fluffy. Charles Law Under constant number of particles and pressure, volume of gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature. This means that when temperature increases, volume increase, and when temperature decrease, volume decrease. This happens because high temperature makes the gas atoms move faster and farther from each other which result to more space occupied by them. To solve, write the given, volume 1 is equal to 28 liters, volume 2 is unknown, Temperature 1 is equal to 29.5 degrees Celsius and temperature 2 is equal to negative 2.4 degrees Celsius. Convert all Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273.15 Kelvin to the given temperature. The given is liters and temperature which is stated in Charles Law that they are directly proportional so the formula will be V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2 to isolate V2 which is the missing part multiply both sides by T2 then assign values 28 liters times 270.75 Kelvin over 302.65 Kelvin and the answer is 25.05 liters. This law is evident in breathing. When a person breathes in, their lung volume increases and the pressure within decreases. Since air always moves from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure, Air is drawn into the lungs. The opposite happens when a person exhales. Since the lung volume decreases, the pressure within increases, forcing out the air out of, of the lungs to the lower pressure air outside of the body. Gay Lussacs, under constant number of particles and volume, Pressure is directly proportional to absolute temperature. This means that when temperature increase, pressure increase, and when temperature decrease, pressure decrease. This happens 
because high temperature enables gas atoms to move faster and farther from each other which results to more collision rate to the surface of its container. To solve the problem, first, list the given values. P1 is equal to 3 atmosphere, P2 is unknown, T1 is equal to 25 degrees Celsius, T2 is equal to 845 degrees Celsius. First, convert Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273.15 Kelvin to the given temperature. Since we are dealing with pressure and temperature, which are directly proportional to each other, the formula will be P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. To isolate P2, multiply both sides by T2, then assign the values for the variables. P2 is equal to 3 atmosphere times 1118.15 Kelvin all over 298.15 Kelvin. The answer will be 11.25 atmosphere. This law is evident in firing a bullet. When gunpowder burns, it creates a significant amount of superheated gas. The high pressure of the hot gas behind the bullet forces it out of the barrel of the gun. Avogadro's law. Under constant temperature and pressure, number of particles is directly proportional to the volume. This means that when we increase the number of gas particles in a flexible container, the volume also increases. To solve, first, list given values. N1 is equal to 3 mole. N2 is equal to 2 mole. Volume 1 is equal to 30 liters. And volume 2 is unknown. In Avogadro's law, since the volume and number of particles are directly proportional to each other, the formula will be V1 over N1 is equal to V2 over N2. To isolate V2, multiply both sides by N2. Then, assign values for the variables. 30 liters times 2 mole all over 3 mole. The answer is 20 liters. This law is evident in basketballs and balloons. As you blow up a basketball or balloon, you are forcing more gas molecules into it. The more molecules, the greater the volume of the ball or balloon will be. Then, basketball inflates. Ideal gas law has the constant R, which is the universal gas constant, and that is equal to 0 0.0821 liters times atmosphere over mole times Kelvin. Volume, number of gases, and temperature are directly proportional while inversely proportional to pressure. As volume goes up, and so does the number of gas and temperature, while pressure decreases and vice versa. The faster the particles move inside the balloon, the lower the pressure. If the particles move slower, the pressure is higher.
To solve this problem, first, list all the given values. Number of particles is equal to 0.654 mole. Volume is 12.30 liters. Pressure is 1.95 atmosphere. And the temperature is unknown. Since the given temperature is in degrees Celsius, we need to convert it degrees Kelvin by adding 273.15. We are dealing with ideal gas law. And the formula that will be used is PV equals NRT. To isolate temperature, divide both sides by NR and assign the given values. Temperature is equal to 1.95 atmosphere times 12.30 liters divided by 0 0.654 times 0 0.0821 the answer is 446.70 degrees Kelvin coolant gas is compressed causing its temperature to increase the hot gas is passed through a radiator allowing excess heat to escape and then the gas is allowed to expand into the refrigerator as it expands it cools off and the heat is drawn from the interior of the refrigerator